In this video, I'm gonna be telling you how you can set up a Bike Fit Studio for under 2,500 pounds. I'm gonna be going through, list by list, each tool that you need, and I'm gonna be telling you, if you watch right through to the end, how to set them up so that you can work with clients for the first time. I'm gonna be breaking this down into specialist tools, general tools, and bits of software. So let's start on the first one, which is the adjustable stem. You're gonna need this in order to adjust the length of a customer's bike that they have in front of you. I recommend the Salsa Bike Fit stem, and it costs 270 pounds. The benefit of this stem is it sits on most bike steerer tubes, so nine out of 10 clients will be able to come in and you'll be able to put the stem on their bike and adjust the length. This tool allows you to increase the length of someone's handlebar, and by changing the angle, allows you to increase the height of someone's handlebar. The next tool that I recommend is the adjustable web handlebar. This tool is a total lifesaver in bike fits. It allows me to very quickly increase or reduce the width of someone's handlebar right there on the spot. This bar will save you hours of your life swapping bars in and out. Make sure you also buy dummy hoods. The handlebar itself you can usually pick up for around 200 pounds and the dummy hoods you can usually pick up for around about 40 to 50. Ideally, if you have an old road bike somewhere, you maybe want to actually use old real bike hoods because it'll just make the whole system a little bit more realistic. The next tool you will need is a wheel block. This adjustable wheel block allows you to increase the height of the front axle so that it's always level with the back axle. This means when you're analyzing someone in a bike fit, you can always be making sure that you're measuring someone on a level playing field. So if you're trying to get a saddle angle just right and the bike is down by a couple of degrees, you could be messing up someone's bike fit and basically giving them a subpar service. So making sure that someone's bike is completely level using one of these is a real trick up your sleeve. You can also use magazines or bits of paper for free, but it's a total nightmare and it'll add hours into your workflow. We're trying to get something that gets a bike on a turbo get set up level, good to go straight away, and it'll make your life and the customer's life so much easier. The adjustable wheel block costs 359 pounds. Let's add that to our total. The next tool that you'll need is an XY tool. You put the tool in the bottom bracket and it allows you to get the X and the Y, so the height and the distance of various parts of your customer's bike position from the middle of the bottom bracket if you're using that as a common point. This is super important for two reasons. Reason number one is it allows you to get a before and after position. So if someone has an issue with their bike fit, you can always revert back to the original position and it just saves your bacon sometimes. The second reason, normally when I work with clients, they want a post-fit report that allows them to take their bike position potentially away on holiday with them should they be hiring a bike or if they put their bike into another bike shop and the bike shop takes their saddle out and moves it so they can get it on their work stand and doesn't put it back again it allows your customer to always get their bike back to the original position that you got on the day an xy tool normally costs in the region of 375 pounds the next thing that you'll need is a turbo trainer. Why? Because you need to put a bike on the turbo trainer so you can get the customer to ride during the bike fit process so you can analyze them while they're riding. You'll need a turbo trainer that's compatible with quick release and through axle to enable you to accept most modern bikes. A turbo trainer costs in the region 400 to 1500 pounds. I've put the lower end of the budget into this to allow you to get a bike fit studio set up for 2500 pounds. It is worth potentially if you have extra money to go for the nicest turbo that you can buy. The next tool that you need is a laser level. A laser level costs 50 pounds and is essential in combination with the adjustable wheel block. Why? Because it just makes it super easy for you to check if the front and rear axles are completely level and it'll speed up your workflow. That's literally all I use it for. Did that kind of cover? Yeah. So I said 50 quid, yeah. The next thing that you'll need is knowledge. That's why today I'm sharing with you my free school community where you can learn how to bike fit customers with our free course. Make sure you join, links in the description. That's a little plug for me. The first bit of software that you'll need is a website builder. I use Squarespace. It's super important that you get the word out there in order to find customers. How I did that at the very start was built a website up. On the website, I basically dropped in a little bit of code that allowed me to imprint my booking calendar there. So a customer can find my website and very easily book within two clicks. This is important because if someone's thinking about a bike fit and they want to book with you, you just need to make it as easy as possible for them to effectively book and use your services. So I recommend Calendly as a good integration with Squarespace because it just literally drops in. You copy and paste the code from your Calendly calendar straight into your Squarespace book now page. Which takes me on to the next bit of software, Calendly. Calendly has a free forever platform which allows you 
to create a service that people can book. Calendly has an easy to use backend, which allows you to easily set limits to your availability, set an appointment length, and allows you to sell a bike fit. You can customize your appointment type. For example, call it bike fit with Dougie Shaw and put that onto your website. So customers can see in real time, the days and times that you can book. And I've put a link to it in the description. The next thing that you'll need is some specialist software to run your camera system through. Kinovia is a super easy to use video analysis software. It allows you to put multiple cameras to record at the exact same time. So you can simultaneously record from the side and from the back of your bike fit customer. I would recommend that you definitely go and download Kinovia. There's other options available that are all paid. For example, you can download Dartfish. Well, Dartfish is the main one really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kenovia has more than enough for you to get going with and the best of all again is absolutely free so I'm not going to add anything to our total there you are of course if you're analyzing someone with cameras the next thing that you're going to have to use are little targets so if you want to analyze how stable someone's pelvis is during a bike fit you need to put some targets on the bony landmarks of the back of their pelvis and on their hip so that when someone's riding, you can use your video analysis software to have a look and see if their bike position's improving adjustment after adjustment after adjustment. Little targets usually cost about 30 pounds to 50 pounds, depending on where you are in the world and where you buy them from. I'll put a link in the description to the ones that I use. Next thing on my list is a tripod. Tripods are super essential because you'll need to mount the cameras that you use to analyze someone's bike position from 90 degrees and right from the back. Tripods really are the only way to do this. I've tried in the past to just mount them on top of things in, in bits of my bike fit studio. It doesn't work. You'll also need a third one because it's super easy to mount your laser level on a small one just sitting on the floor. So I've allocated 64 pounds into my grand total for you to buy three tripods to run your bike fit studio with. Next thing is a camera. These Logitech webcams are HD and they're enough for you to get started with. You'll need to set these cameras up level with the side of your subject and the back of your subject. This will allow you to properly analyze someone's bike position. They cost £120 for two of them and that's all you need to get started with. Make sure you buy your cameras with the link I put in your description so I get 10% of the money that it costs you to buy them. I don't know these, how much these cost like 20 quid. I've not written down the total. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> the total's actually three pounds. <laughs> the next thing that you'll need is a USB cable that is active and allows you to essentially have enough distance between the back of your customer and your laptop. These active USB cables are a tiny bit more expensive than you might think. They're actually 25 pounds. I've put a link to some in the description of this video so you can buy them if you want. And I've added 25 pounds to the total. The last thing that you'll need to do your bike fits properly are proper tools. Customers expect that they come in and you make the adjustments to their bike on the day. Now that doesn't include everything. You won't need to be adjusting hydraulic cables. You won't need to be tweaking the gears on DI2, of course, that's something that you need to set clearly aside in your bike fit, what's included and what's not. But you'll definitely need the basics like Allen keys, screwdrivers, and I've included a little list in the description of tools that I use super regularly in order to allow you to do bike fits on 95% of the clients that will walk through the door super easily. I've allocated 150 pounds for the tools that you need to set up and run a professional bike fit studio. In the next session, I'm gonna be showing you how to put all of this together and run a bike fit for the first time. Two things that I haven't mentioned. The first thing, obviously, is a laptop. You'll need a laptop to download software onto and to mount your cameras into. I've just assumed that if you're watching this on YouTube, you probably have a laptop. So if you haven't, you need a laptop. 